What up my amazing audience, my name is Tricky Acid and I'm about to demonstrate the HD full 1080p um, tactical camera that comes with the Call of Duty Ghost Prestige Edition. Why am I doing this? Well I thought it'd be nice to showcase the quality of the actual camera itself, you know, like how do the actual videos look like when you actually record some footage with it. Um, so, you know, I thought that'd be quite nice for anyone who's actually looking to pick up the Prestige Edition and thinking, is the £180 worth it? Maybe for the actual season pass and you know, the other goodies, but is it really worth paying the extra dough for the actual camera? Because that's why you'd, anyone would want the Prestige Edition anyway if, for this, because otherwise you can go for the Hardened Edition. So, this is what will sum it up. So I thought, you know, it'd be quite nice to do so. And also for any other trivial purposes, if anybody's just curious. So, you know, woohoo, that's what Tricky Ass is here for. To keep everybody happy and stuff. So, you know, we're going to open up this, you know, clamshell case. Very nice, very robust. I like it. You know, Activision really, you know, went in with a nice, decent case. Um, kind of reminds me of the old Game Boy cases that I used to have, but whatever. Anyways, then we have the actual um, content of the inside here. I did actually pretty much showcase the uh, accessories of the camera in my unboxing video. So the annotation is going to be up somewhere. So you guys feel free to check that out. In this video, I'm pretty much going to be showcasing the video footage of how it actually looks like. And, you know, maybe, you know, talk a little about the accessories and just a little bit about the futures of the camera as well. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take out this camera out right now. Now, in terms of size, it is very compact, which is what you want from a tactical camera, you know, because this is going to be wall mount, uh, sorry, wall mounted. <laughs> this is going to be mounted, you know, to a helmet or, you know, like a bike or whatever you feel like mounting it on or just even holding it. So you want it to be light and compact. So we'll take off this, you know, slider here. And um, I'm actually going to actually preview a little mount because just to give you guys a little uh, demonstration of how you can use it. I mean, this will obviously hook up, well, adhesively hook up to your uh, helmet, for example, which is nice, which is pretty cool. But um, what I wanted to get to is actually another aspect is this. There's a little dial here, and that dial can actually be moved from left to right. Now, at the moment, it's not moving. It's very rigid, uh, you know, but you can move it to the right, and look, it swivels. So, guys, look, it swivels. So, it goes right left you know so i think that's pretty awesome so if you were to mount it onto a helmet you know woohoo happy days so you know that that is actually pretty awesome I, I like that that you can swivel it around and stuff and then you know once you're done with that um you know you can just switch click it back and it'll become rigid again and you know it won't actually move in any direction so that's practically it and you know there are other ones as well for example like this which actually goes on a bike and, and this does the same thing as well. I mean, it's got the actual um, uh, lock here, which, you know, you can move if you wanted to. And, yeah, it will move as well. So, yeah, I mean, they all do the same thing. Okay, so that being done with the beautiful accessories, we actually have the memory card, and which takes an annoying time to actually remove... And now it's finally out. Now, you have four gigabytes here. Now, remember, this is a micro SD card, but it does not mean that it's not expandable. So, you know, if four gigabytes is not enough for you, it can always be expanded to like eight gigs, 16, 32, whatever you fancy, to be honest. You know, that's the beauty of having an SD card. Now, that, the actual on off button is here. You know, you click that to turn it on, you click it again to turn it off. And, um,. You know, this is a little lock here, and this is this is your little control base. This is where you know you can hook it up to the computer and stuff. Now, the way it opens is you dig your nail here, so don't bite your nails, okay? And um, you actually lower it down, and then once you've actually lowered that down, you can actually see the insides of this. The micro, well, mini USB goes on the left hand side, and then it also has the 1080p, 720p lights, and and also a micro SD slot. I just want to quickly get to the uh, mini USB uh, cable, um, and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna demonstrate this. Uh, it's a very small cable, guys. I'm gonna show you guys a quick screenshot of what it looked like when it was hooked up to my MacBook. 
as you guys can see, it's very small, so <laughs> you're not going to be able to like stretch out anywhere unless you um, actually get a USB extension lead. So you know you could hook this up and put the extension there, and then that way, happy days. But it's a very small wire. Okay. And let me just quickly like switch to the actual footage now of what it looks like when you record with this. All right, you guys, you guys are getting a bit of a behind the scenes footage here in my bedroom of me actually recording. Um, well, editing my video that I'm actually going to be posting um, just to see how well he actually picks up on the details. And, uh, you know, then I'm going to step sideways into like other areas of my bedroom. Okay, so this is practically the um, figurine section of my bedroom. Uh, this is during daylight conditions. So, you know, this is just various merchandise. Uh, this is from Modern Warfare 2. This is back in 2009. This is so dusty right now. I need to clean that up. And you have uh, Alduin. And my amazing puppy. Yes, everybody loves that dog. Now, I don't recommend anybody doing this. Recording the outside world. You know, hanging your hand out. At like 10 stories high. But it is raining. And this phone... Oh, this phone, sorry. And this camera is partially waterproof. Uh, war resistant I'd say because you know it can rain and stuff so don't worry too much it's, it's, it's fairly well built and you know you can see um, uh, outside world is hopefully it looks pretty decent in this thing alright you guys so this is the outside view right now I do live in an apartment and I do not recommend anybody doing this sticking your hand out your window um, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, some decent footage of the outside world of how it looks like, you know, during night time. Well, the audio might be a bit muffled because, you know, my hand is holding it really tight and it might be covering the microphone. But anyways, hopefully uh, during the footage, which I'm going to play back to you guys, which is going to be this, it turns out alright. And there's lots of fireworks going on with it. Oh my god, I don't know if we picked up on that one. But uh, hopefully <laughs> it did. Okay, you guys, so that was pretty much the um, footage you guys could see. I would say um, it's, a, it's a decent camera. You know, it's 1080p. It's pretty decent. Um, yeah, the quality seems a lot more bland uh, when I was looking at it because the webcam I'm using right now is also 1080p. Um, but obviously, this, this webcam, picture quality-wise, I found, you know, it's, it's a lot more superior to what this actually produces. But um, to be honest with you, it's a really cool gadget. You know, I think it's great. I, I think this is the best prestige edition I've ever had. Okay, you guys, please uh, uh, click the like button if you did enjoy this video. I hope, you know, for anyone who's curious to see how good the video footage was, uh, my video hopefully made it pretty clear for you guys, you know. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So please subscribe if you haven't already. So for more on Call of Duty to stay updated on the latest Call of Duty um, Ghost video footage, you know, like for my Let's Plays and gameplay on multiplayer and also the free full map and so forth. Please subscribe to me to stay up to date on all of that. And I hope to keep you guys entertained and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.